quite simply, that is two of the most important goals in Socceroos history ever. Mm. He is one of our greatest exports. He's a very good friend of ours. We've, we're honoured to have him back on the show. Can you please welcome Mark Bresciano? Chris, <laughs> lovely to see you. Lovely to see us. Now, they were celebrations. They yeah, were celebrations. Yeah. Hernandez learned something from that. Exactly. That's a celebration. He's upset about the Alex. Yeah, Lawrence, you mightn't understand how important those goals were. The first was in 2005. It actually, that was the goal that got us to the penalty shootout. Everyone remembers the penalty shootout, yeah. which was wonderful in itself. But it was Mark's goal that actually got us to that point. Mm. And the second goal was the one that happened just Beautiful recently. Beautiful setup for a header. Yeah, hey, a magnificent setup for a header. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. 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 He said the word header. Yeah. Right. I know what a header is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bresh, welcome to the show. Look, it's so hard, it's hard to, to, work, hard. to work out highlights for you, where, yes. you know, your, your greatest performances. Mm. So it was, a, it was almost a dead heat between that as a yeah. package highlight yeah. and this as a package of highlights. We got us all together for a team meeting. <laughs> then we had lunch. I ate the chicken. <laughs> then we had the lamb. So I did Josh and Harry. Then we had lunch. I ate the chicken. Schwartzy had the chicken like me. With ginger and soy. Great to have you back in Australia for a few months, and you started tra well, weeks. a week. Yeah. Oh, sorry, weeks. Wish. <laughs> so when do you when do you fly out again? When do we? Yeah, leave I'll you? fly out around the sixth or seventh of March. And in the meantime, you've been training with the Melbourne Heart, yep. and the, the rumor is that you're the reason they've turned it around. <laughs> <laughs> no, just coincidence, mate. Coincidence, I don't think. So. Mark actually started winning before I came home. So. Oh, did they? Yeah. Really? Nah, no, we'll forget about I that. We'll edit that out. <laughs> I asked the tough questions. Oh wow. Uh, you've obviously made some sweet coin in Italy. More about that later. Uh, <laughs> but right now, let's have a medals update from Soshi. Oh, oh really? No no way. Way. Let's find out what's going on there. Norway, <laughs> seven. This? Netherlands, no, four. The United doing? States, four. And Australia, what? we're in uh, 88th position what? with what? zero. Oh, <laughs> that's a good update. That's an update. Uh, now back to you, Mark. I've got, I got, got to ask you this because there's a lot of going around. So you're, uh, you're fine to play in the World Cup. That You are available for selection, correct? Correct. My suspension will finish on the 13th of March. Okay. So from then on, I'm, I'm eligible to play any official games. So you can play the friendlies, and will you have some club games as well? Yeah. Um, I think maybe four or five league games. Plenty. And then after that, there's also the cup games because yeah. in oh, Qatar, the well, yeah, yeah, they play the cup games after the league. So great. Right. That's I'll great. A, yeah. I was noticing that they played a, a game here. Melbourne Heart played yesterday in 41 degree heat. What's the hottest you've played in in, in the Middle East? Well, the thing is, when it's a hot period, we play normally 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, but okay, still, right. you're around 40, 38 right. to 40 so, degrees. So it does make us think about the World Cup in 2022. Do you think it actually, having played there, is it possible to play a World Cup in that kind of heat? The thing is, the, the stadiums are going to be air-conditioned, right. so I think as players, they will be fine, but as supporters, I think it's going to be impossible just right. to travel around and get to... Certain stadiums and stuff like that out of the hotels, and, you're outside. and yeah, it's it's impossible to stay outside. You've got to move it. You're or you do what they did to Frank Farina. You pour a drink over them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 do that. Um, now, tell, look, there's a, been a few injuries, and uh, mm -hmm. the latest one is uh, is Sainsbury slid into a, a sprinkler and broke his knee cap. Yeah. So he's out. Did you hear about that one? No. Slid into a sprinkler. It, well, it, for his debut, when he moved over to the Eredivisie, he played in his first game against Tommy Orr's team and was having a great game and then slid into a, a sprinkler. Oh, I thought he was on a slip and slide at his mum's place. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got that wrong. But you so got that one wrong. Is there a little party where, you know, we've had a few people go down now, and this always happens before World Cups, it's terrible, like Cruz and all those guys. Is there a little bit, of you, with a little bit of you that's like, great, I'll stay fit, but it might not be the worst thing in the world that you're not week in, week out at the moment, just so you can be really, really fit for when the time comes? Yeah, that's how I'm looking at it at the moment. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't play, so... No. Is it I'm looking at the positive. Is it, is it, it is frustrating, but um, I guess I've just got to take what it is and yeah. train as much as I can and play as many friendly games as I can and Mark, try and stay fit. OK. There was a production meeting I missed earlier this afternoon. <laughs> probably the instruction was don't talk to Mark about his suspension. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what did you get suspended for again? <laughs> did, you, did you punch someone or <laughs> were just... you drunk? <laughs> We're not allowed to talk about that, are we? No, uh, no, 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 I'm joking, we can. Um, what, what I was going to say is that um, 
at the moment, I mean, it's, it's quite incredible because people talk about who should we take. There are younger players and older players to take, and there's only a certain amount of older players to take. But when you think about it, uh, I know it's your birthday tomorrow. It's not like you. you, you it's not like 25. you. 25. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I was about to say, you're, you're, you're looking so well. You, you've, you're, the fitter, you're, you're the fittest you've ever been. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, you've been the best player in the Socceroos yep. over the past 12 months. Absolutely. How, how good, how well do you feel right now? I feel good. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I just I don't think I put myself under this too much pressure anymore. Like I think when I was younger, I was really, I think I was overcommitted, overfocused. And this time I just try and join my football because right. I know it could be my last year. So yeah. just making the most of it. I think you'll be playing at 222. I think you'll I be playing at home. I, I, I just want to show the I just want to show the 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 goal. Yeah. The goal the, the goal that put us through uh, to this latest World Cup in 2013. It's Mark. Putting yes. the ball up to uh, Josh Kennedy. Oh, yeah. it wasn't that now, let's just look at it again because I reckon people need to understand how super you were here. This, this is not even a question. To Bresh. Wilshire. You, to Wilshire, to Archie. Now, you hang back. You don't go right in there. You yes. hang back. Yeah. You know you've got an extra cut, a couple of yards of space because you that. know look you can put that. it in there. To me, to I know that. Look at that. Now, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Come on. Now, You've, you've, you've spent time at four, four Serie A clubs. Is that the kind of stuff that you learn? The idea that at the moment, that was only less than 10 minutes to go before the end of that game. We needed a goal to get through the World Cup. And you didn't overcommit. You didn't run into the box. Did, did you, do you kind of sense that kind of stuff, that just to hold back a bit because I think I know what's about to happen? Mm. How much do you trust your instinct? I think as um, you get older, you get more experience. I think uh, you're able to read the game better. So... I'm not sure. That's just instinct, I think. I think I just, so you um, don't make a conscious decision at that point? No. Right. Are you able to read the game better because you're so tired you can't keep up with the game? <laughs> <laughs> this looks good. So we, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. just a special thing. When, yeah. when we ask Bresh to come on the show tonight, usually uh, our guests have come straight off a, a plane from interstate yeah. or from training. You've come from your daughter's birthday party, yeah. which yeah. we really appreciate. Yeah. And Alessia is actually here She's today. Here in the audience. Happy is birthday, she, is Alessia. There, Alessia. Have we got a little something for Alessia? There a you birthday. go. A little cake for you. There oh. you go. Oh. Oh. Actually, before oh. that, yes. uh, We've got to ask, what kind of cake did you have for Alessia today? I had a mud cake. A mud, a mud cake? Yeah, but mud. hang on, wait a minute. What, 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 what flavour was the icing? Come on. Yeah, it was ginger and salt. <laughs> <laughs> ginger and salt. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please thank Mark Bresciano?